Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer on this Thanksgiving Day, um, which is the twenty, what is 26th of uh, November. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I. Um, I have my morning beverage and I uh, hope you have your uh, morning beverage also and begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. Oh, oh come, come, let, let us worship Lord. him. Our psalm today is the second half of Psalm 140, uh, 147. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed your children within you. He has established peace on your borders, and he satisfies you with the finest wheat. He sends out his command to the earth, and his words run very swiftly. He gives snow like wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He scatters his... His hail like breadcrumbs, who can stand against his cold? He sends forth his word and melts them. He blows with his wind, and the waters flow. He declares his word to Jacob, his statutes and his judgments to Israel. He has not done so to any other nation. To them he has not revealed his judgments. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God, our Father, great builder of the heavenly Jerusalem, you know the number of the stars and call each of them by name. Heal hearts that are broken. Gather those who have been scattered and enrich us all from the plenitude of your eternal wisdom, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's see here. All right, our reading today, our first reading, uh, put that over there, comes from Joel in the the second chapter beginning uh, with verse 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord has done great things. Fear not, you beasts of the field, for the pastures in the wilderness are green, the tree bears its fruits, and the fig tree and vine gives their full yield. Be glad, O children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he has given the early rain for your vindication. He has poured down uh, for you abundant rain, and the early and the later rains as before. The threshing floors shall be full of grain. The vats shall overflow with wine and oil. I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and there is none else. And my people shall never again be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. And our second reading comes from Thessalonians, uh, the fifth chapter. Let's see here. Uh, Beginning with verse 12. We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are, who, and are over you in the land and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves, and we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to another and to everyone. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit, do not despise prophecies, but test everything, hold fast what is good, abstain from what is uh, everything from evil. 
Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit and soul. Um, oh, soul, as soon as I can turn the page. Uh, and soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls you is faithful and will surely uh, do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these no, last days, he has spoken to us by his God. son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has he come to his people and set them free. free. He has May raised he up for us a mighty Savior, Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious Father, we give you thanks for the fruits of the earth in the season and for the labors of those who harvest them. Make us, we pray, faithful stewards of your great bounty, for the provision of, of our necessities and the relief of all who are in need. To the glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. <laughs> o Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this uh, Thanksgiving morning. And I hope you have a great and blessed Thanksgiving day. Um, I know these are difficult times, but hopefully we can connect uh, either by phone or um, however that we can connect with other people of our family instead of being in person. So God bless you and uh, stay safe. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.